Yana, it's your girl, Elaine Reeves, and today I'm at Lake Ocean View in Painesville, Monrovia, Liberia, one of Painesville's hidden gem. Um, I'm seated in the middle of two wonderful people. They're influencers, um, MC Sassy and Mama Liberia. MC Sassy is a uh, brand influencer. She's a media personnel. Um, she's been in this thing for a <laughs> and I'm still on that. All right, so um, also Mama Liberia is a comedian, but let's start with you. First of all, you introduce yourself first. So uh, I go by the name Abbas Kondi. You won't cost me. You don't know I can bore you. <laughs> Mama, Mama Liberia. <laughs> all right, <laughs> Sassy. Okay, I'm Rosemary McKeever, Sassy MC. All right, so she already gave my portfolio, so I yeah. still want me to give it. I rushed inside. Yeah, I didn't go in depth, so let's go. <laughs> so I'm an event host, um, a radio and TV talk show host, and also a brand influencer. So um, let's talk about your future goals. What do you intend or where do you intend to see yourself in like, let's just say a year or two? Hmm. In a you year. Far or, well, you can't tell us you won't put your be model and, and wife Oh no, no that is so <laughs> not in my plans. <laughs> so, so not in my plans. But in a year, so um, I've noticed that um, when I started my career, mm -hmm. I wasn't actually um, planted in the right places. Yeah. So I found myself being here and there. So I was like, and with um, a couple of pieces of advice from my mentors, it was like, you need to find a niche and just stick to that niche. Yeah. Whatever you go through, you because you know you, you are going there with that mindset of building your brand, yeah. exploring your brand. So I was like, okay, let me find my niche. And I found my niche um, these days. Right now I'm with um, the Voice of Liberia yeah. radio station. I'm there as um, director of radio and programs manager. So I'm like, even if I don't be there with that position, but for the fact that I have four, close close to four to five shows that I'm yeah. going to be hosting, that alone is going to you know explore my brand. So in a year time, I'm hoping to be, you know, recognized, if not in in the international international stage, but even in the African stage. Yeah. But I'm hoping to be recognized because I have so much plans for my careers, so much plan for my for my brand, and I just want to just take my time and go through them without um, distraction from people that don't mean well for me. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's, that's or people I'm, that I'm just want to milk your thank um, you your your brand because I have I have had that in the past. Oh, we've all been there. Yes. I've had that in the past so right now I'm, I'm just all about me it's all about sassy yeah all right so before i go to mama library let me just tell you where this sassy came from because i'm knew. risky i, I can't let this story slide <laughs> and when you, you you heard me from the beginning i said she's the sassy to my frisky it, it was just weird it, it was I, and i name really sticked on us i know it just stick you know thank you chris <laughs> right because he, he, he just said okay so you are sassy and, and you, you are frisky, frisky so you just want to show you just do your thing and we had this relationship show on the radio we were not in a like, relationship i was just in my early 20s we were so tiny i i go back to that facebook page every time to remind myself of where i came from and how oh i was God, so to and so. yes yeah, so to so it was surprising how we got international people calling in, right. commenting and asking us about relationship and tips. And we asking them for advice. And then you see, you are sweet. We, my best we can say. Who is we? You watch us in the studio and we, my dresses, those days were, were not easy, but anyways. I don't, I don't want to talk about those days. I'm so much better We're than so me. I got hips and all. Thank God for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's talk about your future goals. Since now you decided to say, okay, I'm not going to the medical field. Um, I'm gonna focus on my comedy. What What's your goal and what's your plan? What are your plans for the future? Oh, did that uh, <laughs> paraphrase? <laughs> Just paraphrase it. It's big. So, uh, like in the future, what I expect is I will go back to school. I need to go back to school. You know, I can't depend on what. I to go back to school because I mean it's helping me a lot. Okay. So yes, I 
I just want to see myself. I mean, I just want to see myself out there in the next video. I just want to see my mama, my mama, my mama Labrador. I want to see, I mean, Labrador as a whole out there. Okay, so do you do your videos in the Koloqua? All right, so that is taking our Koloqua out there because the Koloqua is very unique to only Liberia, right. and we I don't think we are getting recognition as we are to be getting. Right. Um, Nigerians make their music in their local pitching, and then we um, have our Koloqua. I think we need to push it out and there. We're copying Nigerians. That annoys me, but let's just take a short break. We'll be right back and wrap this whole thing up. It's fun, guys. <laughs> Jay Zeno, you're the philosopher. I need someone to make me happy, someone to keep me smiling, someone to chop my money. She never gave it to me, oh yeah, yeah. Money away from me, oh yeah, yeah. We need my money, oh yeah, yeah. I think we get to me, oh yeah, yeah. She never gave it to me, oh yeah, yeah. Money away from me, oh yeah, yeah. We need my money, oh yeah, yeah. I think we get to me, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I am Elon Reeves and I am seated with um, Abbas and Rosemary McKeever, Sassy and Mama Liberia. Welcome back. Um, so let's just take our final things. Um, Sassy, how do you like your parents? How do they take um, take this whole thing? How is it going with them? Um, so they are very super supportive. My father is always there because my mom is busy. So she's not always around when I'm doing these things. But whenever I'm on the radio, she always tune in and she always texts me, my daughter, I listen to you. You must say my truth or you must promote my business. Or so. Yeah, and my father is also super supportive. Um, for example, um, on Wednesday, I was, um, I'm invited to speak yeah. at a certain program. So he's like, I'm going to be there. And then I recently won an award for best um, radio and TV personality. He's like, I'm going to be there. So they are so super supportive of me and I'm just blessed to have them. Okay. So how, how is the, inter uh, let's just say the entertainment sector in Liberia industry. Mm -hmm. How is it taking you? Is it welcoming? Do you feel like there is stuff that needs to be done? Um, <laughs> Feel free. I, don't, I don't know if it's if if it's actually taking me. For example, the entertainment industry, but I think that it is the all of the industries in general. Yeah, they are most of them. They are super welcoming, yeah. and I still I feel like I still have you know few ways to go to actually go and reach everybody, yeah. but. This time around, for example, I told you that I have like four to five shows I'm going to be hosting on the radio. I have a lot of things that include the entertainment industry that has to do with the com the comedians, um, fashion designers, uh, brand influencers. Yeah. Um, I have I've created this platform that I'm going to push them. As I'm pushing my brain, I'm also going to be pushing them along. So I feel like once I'm doing that, they are going to be super supportive of me. But until then, they a oh, few of them few of the artists they're always hitting me up especially when I, when I wasn't on the radio it was like when you come back to the radio we need an interview with sassy i'm like i'm gonna be back soon i'm gonna be back for you guys so yeah i'm just gonna be back for them and i'm sure that they're gonna open up to me okay more than they already opened up to me okay <laughs> all right mama labira when you decided that you know what this medical field i'm not doing it no more I'm, i know most parents will be like i want a nurse i want a doctor i want a lawyer you decided to drop it because you wanted to be a comedian. How has it been for you as it relates to family members? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how the toy, oh, eh? <laughs> very hard, especially for my father. Okay. Ah, my African father. parents. I mean, you were not even supporting me being a comedian. <laughs> that was very And to the extent that I got black people on social media. Wow. <laughs> do what I want to do. So when I won the first morning, I'm not. Uh, I took the song, gave it to him, and said, So, from the studio, now he's having stuff. This is your own home. Like, so, here we are. As of today, if I'm not post video, you'll call me, my man, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Now you're up today. So, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy. All right. Happy. Okay, so, um, also, how has it been for you as it relates to the librarian entertainment industry at large? Uh, 
at first it was like that kind of a hard mm-hmm. because the first of uh, character that Mama was- Ladua. Mama Ladua. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Mama the Liberia! Mama Liberia! What are you saying, Shatna? I'm coming up with a very soft thing. I'm going to get a bad thing. I'm turning to Mama Liberia. I mean, Mama Labro. The number can rest, my sister. I can sleep. Mama Labro. Everybody wants to do video with Mama Labro. You ever? All the men that I've like, if I called them before, mm-hmm. I want to do a video with you, they'll be like, Base, you know, yeah. Me. So, but as soon as year, Mama Labro. In fact, did a second call. Mama Labro was up. We get a project. Come on, boom. In fact, I can really be bluffing as I my attire. Oh yeah, you're trying to bluff, my dear. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. All right. So, um, any final words to people out there? Um, firstly, tell me your future endeavors, and then you can tell me, like, what, what can, what's cooking? What do you have cooking for future? Um, I'm coming back, but I'm coming back not specifically only for me, but for our industry, because my followers that I have, they are not only um from liberia i have followers all around the world i have international followers so i believe that if i push my brand and whilst i'm pushing my brand i also help other people you know to be a part of my brand and then push them it's going to help them to you know be known internationally because my i mean like if you, if you even follow me on instagram when i even ask like when i post on my instagram and say ask me a question yeah bro i'll be getting spanish questions <laughs> um uh, questions in turkey you know this gonna so so i know that i have reached people internationally that whenever the last time when i posted my video in the studio i had a lot of you know people from different countries mm-hmm. you know telling me oh okay i like the way so i just want to use my platform to help especially um upcoming artists upcoming comedians upcoming um f- you know fashion designers and, and stuff like that and just help to push them so that through my brand they can be recognized and outside. like can go out there right so that's that's all for sassy sassy is coming back so fa- you guys can follow my my social media p- um, platforms and then you get to see sassy more of sassy okay can i ju- can i just do that sassy is coming back Sassy watch out coming she's back. coming back bigger and better <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you can just follow my social media platforms um that's the name i use on on all of my social media platforms um tiktok is sassy mc facebook is sassy mc instagram is sassy mc sassy mc to the world to the world okay so let me just say i can relate to your the issue you had with your dad before you could like you know you know that our relationship program we had he had serious issue with it ah! After the first one, we talked about sex. The sex. Thank talked you. Sex. We mean. talked about sex, and I got home, and there was a whole round table set up. Tell your boss, but you're not able to do that show. I mean, why y'all be talking about sex? Our Tell first he, you know, show was about sex. sex. Like, eight, we were so tiny in the studio, but we had a lot of people listening. My, I told my parents, "Oh, you know, we got this show. You can listen." It was like, okay, you're staying like an hour. Yeah. It's like nine to ten o'clock, and. You're coming home late. You say, oh, yeah, there's this new show. The pull on is about relationship. You say, okay. First stop is sex. In your relationship, if your partner doesn't want to have sex or doesn't satisfy you with sex, what do you do? Oh, hey? God. They tune in. Everything listening for the entire hour. Those were the days. And then I got home and I just met them sitting there. Like we even had an issue with that whole script. But yeah, why can't we, we had an it? issue, but it's job. You, you got to do the job. Um, so I'm, and then some places will tell me that place is not godly. Friday for everybody, it's not godly. Yeah. Don't go there. And I had to lie that I was going for youth Bible study, and then I, <laughs> God forgive me. But yeah, you know, those are some of the things you go you through. Do, and right. parents don't understand that when you're trying to build up a brand, right. you can't be picky with what you have to right. do. You need to do everything until you find what you're actually good at true, and get to and um, people get to know you. Yeah. But then it was not about the money; it was about the platform. Right, the platform. That's now, nah, but now, baby girl, we long past oh, the platform. Right. I used to <laughs> tell my father like it was you God called. When he was calling you, I wasn't even born. So you are the pastor. I'm just a pastor kid. Yeah. So you let me do my thing. My brother would say it was not a conference call. <laughs> it was just you. All right. So um, thank you guys so much. It was really fun. And I love to see young people like myself in Liberia doing positive things, moving right. forward, pushing the country out there. And I'm so proud of you guys. And I hope to see you guys again. I would love to see you guys again because, you know, I asked for your one year and two year plans. 
I'm going to follow up on that. And I need to see you guys the next time and see how far we've gone. And I'm sure the viewers also want to see it. So sure. thank you guys for honoring this invite and see you later. Thank you too, veteran. All right. <laughs>
she used the sound and then everybody started following the sound then we both started being intrigued so i was like i, I don't blow i've made it mama i've made it i go here i guess <laughs> Yeah, that's okay that that's a wonderful story and you know i'm not one of these days i'll be giving my own a story too <laughs> <laughs> all right so um let's let's get your story how did you become like a tiktok sensation i was just bored like <laughs> i always like the camera and like you know i mean like um, i got a pretty face so. <laughs> Hype yourself, ma'am. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't make me don't make me blush. But yeah, I was a little bored and I was just like looking for something to do. First, I started with Nike. Mm-hmm. Nah, it, it just looked fake because I don't know it wasn't original. So yeah. I don't know about TikTok. I just started doing it more and more and acting like you know acting did it for me. So whenever I act out their lives, like sometimes I'll do it this cute voice, cute <laughs> dancing. That's my holy. you feel like my fire. Yeah. We want no engagement here. <laughs> I'm not ready to ugly cry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, so I mean like I just did because I was cool, but then it became into something like I got a family from there, I got a real family from there, like the elites now they're like, you know. The real family to me, and I got friends like Holly, friends like Richard, like a lot of people just open to a whole new community, and I'm just you know still blown away. But little by little, we're getting there. All right, so tell us about the video that actually made you blow. Um, I did this video. This song key. I am feeling virgin. Oh, I yes. did that too, but huh? I think I only got five likes. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it with my best friend Henry. And like it was at his house that I just went there. I was like, let's let's do a video, and then we did it, and boom, it got over two hundred thousand views. Yeah, over two hundred thousand views. Yeah, I think. Yeah. You guys are making me. I'll go check on that video because I did that video. <laughs> I actually wore glasses for that video. No, but I was pretty active in that video, so I think people like the energy. And then, but right now, everybody on TikTok or Instagram know me as the Transition Queen. Okay, like, literally, that's my name. So I think transition does it for me now. Oh, I'm that's your niche? You just like transition into yeah. like a cute outfit from... Yeah. First I'm looking rugged up and then boom, you see me looking like a bad bitch. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting a lot of TikTok ideas. Y'all don't be surprised when I see your ideas hey, no around problem. you. Go ahead. <laughs> the credit. Oh, no problem. Yeah. So um, so Holly, um, we know we're Africans and we know how African parents actually take things and relate to things that we do. They don't understand our era. They don't understand these things. Um, Tell me how your parents actually took what you're doing are they supportive so it was only my mom she was the one who encouraged me actually so okay someone uh told her like oh yeah some way we're more close to the thing <laughs> <laughs> so she got she didn't see the video actually she got mad at me so you've turned to this you started doing this oh, she said a lot of things then my let's say for the video you're talking about come watch the video so i showed the video girl in the room already angry i just yeah got the TikTok post for me <laughs> Something my grandma was like, oh, they get with you. Who get with you? Yeah, you get it. But they get from this, they get from you. Know, stuff. So she was like, she was watching, she was like, so this is the thing I'll get angry for. So, so she came to me. She said, but it's always doing more. Told me, said, you know, said, she encouraged me to come outside, actually. And do it outside. Yeah. She said, no, you want to light it. We need more lighting. We need more lighting. Like this. I just want there. So she's like, encouraging me. So she was like, you know, for my father was, mm-mm. Uh, mm-mm. Always the case. Yeah. So, and, uh, you never knew I was on TikTok. Mm-hmm. But you know, you used to hear people used to be like, oh, there's a boy on TikTok, so you used to be smiling. So my son, I'm ready to start. But you didn't know why I was. What you were ready to do? He had no idea. <laughs> After that, you don't even see my TikTok videos. But you don't want to try and go show the him? I did one time, he was like, don't ever wear a woman clothes. <laughs> my brother said, I did TikTok. Don't ever, you're finna get. I can. Oh, <laughs> you were attracted to wrong yeah. crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so how are your parents um taking the whole transition queen um i am miss fabulous <laughs> so, i was born into a very supportive family so mm-hmm. like they literally support anything that make you happy that is good also it's a christian family mm-hmm. but like you know if it's good it makes you happy they found it. my mom is really glad about it she's happy like sometimes i'll go out and people will be like oh is that loud too she'll be like oh my god that's <laughs> so like, i'm like they're okay with it i'm not doing anything you know extra out there just transitioning into new clothes sometimes to this funny tiktok things mm-hmm. 
some dance show. I'm asking with my makeup still. Okay. Yeah, people are really like that. All right. Now, I hope to have you in the future. So, I'll come check on you, Holly. You must write. Oh, yes. You must be that doctor. Yes. Sorry. And I will keep a very, like, I'll keep eagle eyes on you guys. Okay. And yeah, maybe I need to give you. Maybe I'll write a book about you too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I- so, uh, perfect journalist or something. Oh, wow. Oh, I, 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 I am feeling it. <laughs> All right. So, thank you, guys. It was so fun having you. Let's just do the Yenna together. Yenna. Yenna. Thanks for watching. And this was a fun interview with um young influencers coming up in Liberia. Stay tuned for more videos and more interviews like these and more awards show. I am Ilary signing out. Yenna. Relationship now, I'm on them And if they bump me again, you're the only one I want All of them now, they want my party, oh yeah She want a zero messy, oh yeah Her body's so interesting, oh yeah She get it back from big testing, oh yeah I'm falling hard for you, oh yeah Hard times too, oh yeah My bad too, oh yeah Make you feel it my bad too, oh yeah All of them now, they want my party, oh yeah She want a zero messy, oh yeah my body's so in Jasmine, oh yeah She get it back from big casting, oh yeah Dolly, I'm for you, oh yeah All for you, oh yeah My back too, oh yeah How you feeling my back too, oh yeah My baby tell me say, she tell me say She love my style She really wanna be, she wanna be the one to walk down Let me get that if I ever break your heart If I ever lie, if I ever leave Everything going up You the only one who keeps me coming